Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee Leroy Allen Allitz, head coach, wrestling. During his 24-year presence on the Army sidelines, Leroy Allitz mentored 10 All-Americans while coaching the wrestling program from 1954 to 1977. He produced Army's only national champion in Mike Natvig, who claimed national titles in 1962 and 1963. Alex was inducted into both the National Wrestling Hall of Fame and the Iowa Wrestling Foundation Hall of Fame in 1992 and won 144 matches to rank second on Army's career wins list. In postseason competition, Alex mentored five Eastern Intercollegiate Wrestling Association champions and 74 EIWA place winners. Along with his service at the academy, Alex also chaired the NCAA Rules Committee for six years and worked on USA Wrestling's Governing Council for 12 years. From the sport of wrestling, Leroy Allen Alex, head coach. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1955, Thomas James Bell football. A four-year letter winner on the football team, Tommy Bell earned first-team All-America honors as a senior while serving as the foundation for Army's rebuilding effort during the 1950s. He became Army's first running back to rush for 1,000 yards in a single season when he finished with 1,020 yards in 1954. His 10.6 yards per carry average that year is currently the third highest single season average in Academy history. Bell rushed for 12 touchdowns his senior campaign, ranking tied for eighth in Army history, and amassed 15 touchdowns during his career. He totaled six 100-yard rushing games in 1954, which stood as a school record and now ranks tied for 14th, while he also rushed for a career-high 165 yards versus Virginia during his standout final campaign. From the class of 1955, Thomas James Bell, football. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1967, Townsend Sutherland Clark, football, basketball. A first team All-America selection at linebacker, Townsend Clark served as team captain in 1966 when Army finished with an eight and two record under first year head coach, Tom Cahill. Clark is widely regarded as one of the top linebackers in Army's storied football history. Clark was known for his tenacious style of play and led the staunch Army defense to a combined 16-3 and one record during his career with the Black, Gold, and Gray. A three-year letter winner, Clark played on teams that posted a 2-0-1 record against Navy. He was selected for the Coach's All-America game following his senior season in 1966 and was also a two-year member of the basketball team. From the class of 1967, Townsend Sutherland Clark, football, basketball. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1965, Anthony Hugh Clay, swimming and diving. Having helped Army earn three star victories over Navy during his four varsity seasons on the swimming and diving team, Anthony Clay collected four All-America honors during his career. He earned citations in the 100 free in 1963 and in the 400 free relay during the 1963, 1964, and 1965 seasons. A 1965 graduate, Clay anchored the Academy and NCAA record-setting 400 free relay team at the 1963 Army-Navy meet that was selected as the number two seed at the 1963 National Championships. He established Army records in the 50 free, 100 free, and 200 free, while contributing to Academy standards in the 400 free relay, 200 free relay, 200 medley relay, and 400 medley relay. A three-time competitor in the Eastern Intercollegiate Championships, Clay received West Point's Class of 1923 award while swimming under Hall of Fame coach Jack Ryan. From the Class of 1965, Anthony Hugh Clay, swimming and diving.
Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1991, Colleen Ann Crisillo, swimming and diving. Colleen Crisillo was an 11-time All-American selection in three varsity seasons in the pool. She earned six individual certificates and five from her performances as a member of the relay team. Crisillo captured four silver medals at the NCAA championships in the 100 and 200 breaststroke events during her career with the Black Knights. She swam under fellow Hall of Famer Jack Ryan and led the women's swimming and diving team to its first and only Patriot League title her senior season in 1991 and is a member of the conference's 25th anniversary team. Prior to the Patriot League, she was an 11-time Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference champion. Crisillo graduated with five academy records, including the 200 breast, which stood for 22 seasons. From the class of 1991, Colleen and Crisillo, swimming and diving. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1949, John Asa Hammock, track and field. John Hammock competed in four seasons and was a four-time individual heptagonal champion, including three titles in 1948. He led Army to back-to-back -back indoor heptagonal championships in 1948 and 1949 and helped the cadets rebound from a second place finish in 1948 in the outdoor heptagonal championships to capture the title in 1949. A four-year letter winner, Hammock was on a pair of relay teams that claimed relay wins at the prestigious Penn Relays. He was captain of the 1949 indoor and outdoor teams. Hammock was chairman of the West Point Association of Graduates and an AOG Distinguished Graduate. From the class of 1949, John Asa Hammock, track and field. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1969, Lester Kenneth Johnson Jr., football. A three-year letter winner on the gridiron, Ken Johnson was a first-team All-American choice in 1968. He was a part of three Army squads that went 23-7 during his career, including wins over Penn State, Stanford, Air Force, SMU, and Virginia. A local product from Newburgh, New York, Johnson starred in the 1969 Coaches All-America Game and Lions American Bowl and competed in the North-South Shrine Game in 1968. He was a team captain in his final year and had seven career interceptions. From the class of 1969, Lester Kenneth Johnson Jr., football. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1964, Stephen Bradley Pembroke, golf. Army's first golfer to be named an All-American, Steve Pembroke played four varsity seasons of golf at West Point. He was a four-time letter winner and a team captain as a senior. Pembroke was a three-time NCAA individual qualifier in his last three seasons on the course and was a member of a pair of teams that finished second and third in the Eastern Intercollegiates. Pembroke was a two-time medalist at the Eastern Collegiate Golf Championship in 1962 and 1964 and was the low qualifier in 1962. He was a finalist at the 1964 Eastern Collegiate Match Play Championship after finishing as a semifinalist in 1963 and a quarterfinalist in 1962. From the class of 1964, Stephen Bradley Pembroke, golf. Army Sports Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1933, Joseph Anthony Remus, boxing, football, baseball. A three-sport standout, Joe Remus was a star in the ring for the Black Knights for three seasons. He was the first cadet to win an intercollegiate boxing championship after capturing the 175-pound Eastern Intercollegiate Boxing Association crown in 1932. He earned an automatic berth into the National Collegiates and Olympic tryouts following the win. 
Remus led the team to a 6-1-1 mark in 1932 and was elected captain in his senior season. He capped his final year by going undefeated in all regular season bouts and helped Army to a 4-0-1 record. In addition to boxing, Remus also participated in football and baseball during his time as a cadet, but clearly made his strongest contributions in the boxing ring, where he remains one of the most decorated performers in Academy history. Remus becomes just the second boxer elected to the Army Sports Hall of Fame, joining Donald Hall, who was selected for the same honor in 2014. From the class of 1933, Joseph Anthony Remus, boxing, football, baseball.